What is going on YouTube? This is Lamont at Large. I'm coming to you from the Hollywood Forever Cemetery here in Hollywood, California, USA. Doing a faces and death video here. There is a couple of famous graves here. If I find any, I'll do possibly a separate video on them. Anyways, without further ado, let's go check out some graves. And by the way, I apologize for the noise in the background. There are peacocks here. And they're constantly doing work here, so you'll hear tractors going back and forth. But uh, let's check it out. Some of you guys might know who this guy is. This is Douglas Glenn Colvin, also better known as Didi Ramon. He was a bassist for the punk group The Ramones. He died in 2002 of a heroin overdose. Uh, his grave is decorated, got some... Uh, Beer, plenty of guitar picks, cigarettes. Uh, one of the uh, more famous graves here. I feel so safe flying on a ray on the highest trails above. Lipstick kisses. There you guys are, Dee Dee Ramon. Okay, here's another famous grave. We got Mela Nurmi. This is the lady that uh, she played Vampira. She was the first Vampira. Played her in the 50s, I believe. She was a Finnish actress and she was raised in Oregon. She died at 85, lived a nice long life and got some kisses on her grave. Uh, got a cool little skeleton, some shoes. This is Dustin Michael Tunick. Get a picture of him right there. He was a writer out here. He went to the University of Georgia. They have a scholarship in his name for that school. He died of a heart attack. I don't know if it was an underlying problem or stress of working in Hollywood. I have no idea. He's very young. So this spot right here is reserved for Fred Armisen. I don't know if it's the same Fred Armisen from Saturday Night Live. I don't know how many Fred Armisons are around, but I guess this is where he's going to be. So in my opinion, this might be one of the most uh, iconic graves here at Hollywood Forever. This is Joey Ramone. He was the guitarist for the Ramones, one of the founding members. And uh, he died of uh, prostate cancer. This is Edmund Simeon. He was born in Armenia in 1941. He had polio, as you can see, the statue right there has a cane. And he's not terribly famous in Los Angeles, but he has like a pretty big uh, furniture store. Uh, it's called Edmunds Stone Gallery. I, he was a carpenter and he was a furniture maker. He was very, very famous. He made a, he had a store on Melrose, like in the 70s. And his store was pretty famous because when he would make furniture, he didn't have the room to store the furniture in his store. So he was stored outside on the sidewalk. So people would see like the furniture all over the sidewalk down on Melrose. And uh, he became very, very famous from just not having enough room to store his furniture. And also he was an excellent furniture maker. This is Irene Guadagno also known as Mama Irene. She was an, a, a businesswoman, uh, importer of Italian furniture. She'd import it from Italy, sell it out here. It's a good business. And her son is uh, quite famous. Uh, his name is Pasquale, I think. He is the, um, he's the head of Insomniac. If you don't know what Insomniac is, Insomniac is the events, uh, the music event company. They throw like the, the EDC, Electric Daisy Carnival. Yeah, so that guy is the head of that very very successful family she died of cancer on March 29 2015 that is a really cool statue 
This here is Anton Yelchin. You guys might know his name if you're a big Star Trek fan. He played on a couple Star Trek films. He played a character, I think his name was Pavel Chekhov. Uh, he died when he was very young, 27 I believe. He died in a very, very freak way. He lived in Studio City, so in Studio City it's very hilly. And when he went home, he parked his Jeep. And I guess he might not have set the parking brake. But the, uh, when he got out of his Jeep, the car rolled back and pinned him against a pillar. And he basically suffocated to death. Uh, they did an autopsy on him and the results came out that he, that he died of um, asphyxiation. Just uh, one of the weirder ways to die. But you can see uh, there's a lot of uh, adoring fans. Anton Yelchin, March 11, 1989, to forever. We all know who this is. This is the one of the more legendary actors ever, Mickey Rooney. He lived a very long life. He lived to be 93, and he was one of the uh, first actors that became very, very famous, that transcended the silent movie era into, you know, movies of today, basically. The only movie I know from him was Boys Town, but I know he was in, I mean, many, 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 many movies. And here he is. And here's his neighbor, Leonardo Olane Jr., These are the Cohens, Joan and Joel. I stopped because this guy's a pretty good looking guy. I thought he was an actor, so I looked him up, but he wasn't. But uh, yeah, he's a pretty good looking guy right there. He looked like an actor, but it wasn't. This here is Teddy Smith Grasset. He was a denim designer. I'm assuming designing jeans. He was only 30 years old. He was shot and killed in an attempted robbery in Nashville, Tennessee. I guess he was there for vacation. So his killers uh, were caught and uh, they were tried and convicted. They got life sentences This year's Wesley John Manic Benag. He was an actor. He wasn't a big time actor, but he did play in the Scorpion King. I don't know what the extent of his role was, but I was looking at pictures of him in the movie. He died in a motorcycle accident. This girl wasn't here when I last uh, was here a few years ago. Lindsay Caitlin Picha. She was a tattoo apprentice. You can see like the little tattoo gun keychain right there. There's no uh, information of what happened to her. Dirk Allen Schaefer. I want to talk really quickly about this guy. This might be the first grave that I came up with the idea for Faces in Death. I did a video here maybe about two or three years ago and somebody in the comment section had mentioned uh, his history and his life and I thought that was interesting and I always meant to you know, how to have an idea about doing videos about graves of people like this at a later date and time. So here we are again with Mr. Schaefer. He was the 1992 Playgirl Playmate of the Year, if you want to go check him out. Uh, very handsome guy. He was a model. He was a Pilates instructor. Uh, he was found dead in his car. He died of a drug overdose of cocaine and methamphetamine. He said that he wanted to be a model uh, and that he specifically did the Playgirl shoot uh, to prove that uh, he was attractive because he thought that he was not. I don't know if he had body dysmorphic issues, but apparently he thought he was not attractive. But uh, yeah, he's a good looking guy.
This is a little monument to Toto the dog from the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz owner and trainer Carl Spitz buried the Karen Terrier on his ranch in Studio City. The 1958 construction of the Ventura Freeway destroyed her resting place. This is Jennifer Moon Kelly Davern. She was 37 years old when she died. I want to say she died of cancer. And uh, she was loved by many, and people called from all over the world to you know, wish her the best. She's very pretty. Amber Ann Mushwitz was 18 years old. She was hit and killed by a car She had her whole life ahead of her, and she was killed when she was walking home. This here is one of the greatest singers that ever lived, as far as I'm concerned. This is Chris Cornell. He was the lead singer of Soundgarden and Audio Slave. Wasn't a terribly big fan of Audio Slave because I just didn't like the blend of Rage Against the Machine with Soundgarden, I wasn't really into it. Still a good band, but uh, Soundgarden, excellent band. This guy hung himself a couple years back. I don't know why he did it. This guy, super good looking dude, very talented, could practically have any woman he wants. Not that that matters, but at the end of the day, no matter how adored you are no matter how rich how famous how successful how many women want to sleep with you how much money you got all that stuff doesn't matter it doesn't matter because it's what's in your head that you can't get out of and this man had some major demons in his head that he could not shake it says online that the family doesn't want people to film his grave or much less i guess take pictures but Hey, as far as I'm concerned, if you didn't want people making videos about him, I don't know why you put him at such a famous place. He's buried right next to um, Joey Ramon right there. So, I don't know. It's really sad. Very, very talented guy. Fletcher Sloan Silix, he was a set designer here in Hollywood. He died on December 10th, 2016 from a brain injury that he suffered uh, previous years back. Okay guys, so I'm going to cut the video here. I am in the mausoleum here. Um, there will be a part two, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, I'm not sure. Please watch part two. Um, filming isn't really allowed on the grounds. They don't really care for it. So I got a little lucky. Nobody seen me and nobody said anything and I don't know if they cared. But anyways, um, I was going to, I was really going to title uh, this video Famous Graves, you know, just to kind of set it apart on faces in depth, but... You know what, whether your name is Mr. Silix or Mr. Cornell, I think whether you're famous or you weren't, in your death, I don't feel that you should be separated from somebody else just because you were rich and famous. Um, we were all somebody and we all have a story here. So there is going to be future graves where I do put like famous graves if it's a story that I really want to tell and I feel I should separate the video from someone else's. But in the meantime... It just will remain faces in death. So anyways, I'm coming to you live, but not live, but I'm still alive by the grace of God. I'm Lamont at large. Uh, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, let me know what you think about the videos, uh, what you, I can do to make the videos better. And uh, yeah, so I will see you next time. Peace out.